Thank you very much. My name is John Emaimo, the Director of Fellow College of Dental Technology and Therapy, Okay, so what is this institute all about? Yeah, the Federal College of Dental Technology and Therapy, Enobu, is a specialized uh, training higher institution for the for the, uh, the medical and health programs. Uh, the institute is actually one of the foremost institutions that was established during the British uh, Empire, the government in Nigeria, and has been growing from strength to strength and maintaining excellence in the training of uh, specialized healthcare management uh, workers in the country. So what legacy do you hope to lay in the sense of time? Yes, uh, obviously, uh, as far as uh, the present management of the college is concerned, we believe we need to move the college to the highest level of uh, any category of federal uh, tertiary institution in Nigeria. And uh, of course, thereafter, the, the, the legacy is just about making sure that the college is also competing with any other institution of nature and uh, live on the sounds of time, the footprint of excellence and the footprint of uh, effective manpower development and in general, improved the general health uh, uh, service delivery in Nigeria and in Africa as a whole. Okay, sir. Um, we understand that uh, the institution has been given the go-ahead to you know, issue degrees. You know, have you added uh, more courses how did this development come in like give us more light on that yeah thank you so much uh when the present uh, management took over the administration of the college in late 2016 we we, we look at the situation uh, of the college and i mean the status quo report of the college as at that point the college was offering two programs specifically dental technology and dental therapy at uh, nd and HND level, that wasn't sufficient for us because we believe with the facilities the federal government have put in place here and the manpower also on ground, the college should do more than that. So we try to look further from where we met the college. We move on to seek for an act to re-establish the college as a degree awarding institution and that was granted a year after, that is in 2017. The college had the full mandate of the federal government to award degrees. And looking at that mandate, the mandate said we should award degrees in dental technology, dental therapy, and other related areas. We do know very well, because almost all of us have gone through school, the mandate is not what awards degree. What actually awards degree is the components, the structure, which simply translate to the manpower, the level of the lecturers you have, the research centers within the college, the lecture theaters and other facilities. So we observed that inadequacy in certain areas of that nature. Uh, based on that inadequacy, we sought collaboration in terms of affiliation with the Federal University of Technology Uweri that has been on the business of uh, degree training and award. And that collaboration came to a fruition and we started a working relationship with that institution. And this led to the invitation of the NUC to come and take a look at the status quo of the college and also and also take stock of the resources and the and facilities we have to be sure that students that will pass through this very institution, I mean the Federal College in Enugu, will also have what it takes and what it's supposed to be in terms of passing through rudiments of degree training. So we did that and uh, it, that was quite successful. And uh, we did not just stop at the two programs. We decided to make a better use of the facilities and the manpower okay. because that were also readily available. So we increased the program from two to seven. Okay. okay um, it has also come to our knowledge that this college produced um, ventilators, face masks, and sanitizers. How did you attend this phase? Yes, I think uh, for, for, for us, we are health institutions and technological in nature and also scientific in all ramifications. When the issue of uh, corona pandemic came, uh, we are actually from time, uh, the college does not fold our arms and look at the situations. We took uh, our own uh, actions, set up some committees to look at what we can also do to contribute 
to this aspect of uh, fighting this uh, coronavirus as well. So what we did is that we we also we set up some committees and tax them on the responsibilities on dealing with certain issues which are, uh, are also managed by the Federal Ministry of Health in terms of the reduction and prevention of coronavirus. So the first thing we did is that we look at the pr uh, primary aspect of it, which is the production of face masks, and we successfully did that. And we also look at the uh, hand sanitizer, which we also produce, and thereafter move on to look at the issue of ventilator, and which we actually work on that and we're able to bring out a prototype of the ventilator, and that was also presented to some experts to take a look at and also make their comments. Because we are not intending to make uh, a kind of a ventilator for people to come and look at as a monument. We thought it wise that the ventilator we should produce should be something that should be used in hospitals. And it's only when the ventilator produced by the college is actually launched into the hospital for use that we can actually talk about achieving the ventilator. So we have been low on that publicity, low in the sense that we we don't want wants to score cheap points. We are still working progressively on that ventilator, being able to achieve the ISO certification for testing. So that is the process where we are at the moment on the issue of the ventilator. Okay, sir. And um, two of your ex students, they were um, among the 110 core members that were like acknowledged by the federal government because they were given um, automatic employment and. Um, scholarship to doctorate level in any Nigerian university of their choice. How did that news come to you? Well, we were quite happy like every other institution that produced that. But uh, sincerely, I will tell you that the Federal College of Dental Technology and Therapy, Enugu, has actually been producing award winners. Uh, I will also let you know that the college uh, is first in Africa and have produced a, a, a notable uh, personalities and also produce the uh, award winners in Africa we we got the, the first set of students that set up the federal the, the College of Health Technology in University of South Africa we trained them here the three of them are professors as we speak we also got the students that won the Smedian first technological award in Nigeria and uh, this one also is just like keeping the, the tone of excellence alive we were so happy because uh, what really made much more sense to us was the aspect of uh, giving of scholarship, granting of scholarship from first degree to PhD. We want to look at how we can also encourage them to utilize the scholarship window given to them to be able to also uplift the college by going into some areas that we really actually need so that we can also migrate them from wherever they have been employed to go back to the college to see how they can improve on the what we are doing in the college at the moment. It is actually a very good news for us and it is also something that the college community as a whole is happy with. Okay, sir. And um, there is a move made by, you guys are still working on it, you're moving to Obego, am I right? Yeah. Okay, so how is that coming along? Yes, uh, from what we are looking at, you know, in Africa they say you don't tell a blind man that the market is closed. When you no longer hear the voice, the noise, you know that, oh, it's like nobody's available in the market. From what we are doing now, you can observe that the structure of this college, which was a prototype built structure for two programs, with the, our journey to degree awards and expansion of departments and faculties, definitely the, the conceived two programs, land space and facilities, will not be able to take the college further. So about sometimes, uh, not just last year, we started a progressive move with the people of Obeagu, uh, who are actually very friendly and forthcoming and welcoming, uh, to be able to see how we can look ahead, to be able to also look at how we can uh, move the facility college to a bigger and a, a, a modern planned uh, environment. So with that, we are believing that the college is not actually abandoning this very campus, but every school has a starting point and also has where they go to as a, 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 a planned structure. So Obeagu is like our modern dream. It is where we, we believe that we are going to place the college in a, in a situation where the college ought to be from the plan. Because to be very candid with you, we are deviating 
from the initial mandate of those who established the college in 1952. And of course, the 1952 plan with the plan of 2020 can never easily meet any longer. At the moment, we have uh, the website and MOU with the community. The committee has handed over the land to us and uh, we are working with the federal government since the federal government structure to be able to create the necessary budget uh, facility for it and then move into the place and uh, get the college uh, established in a very modern uh, um, facet that will be able to accommodate the future generation. Okay, sir. So, um, with regards to moving the school from you know how it is, township to Obego. Do you have any oppositions? Is it, is it something that the body has welcomed to go and then leave? Yeah, you see, the issue of uh, moving the school, you can't move the school to people's uh, roof. Okay. <laughs> so we are not thinking that we're leaving the town the way it is not a town. We are leaving, we are leaving the present location of the college to where there is faci land facility. And land facility, we are not intending to go and destroy people's houses. We have to go to where you actually have the land available. So issue of opposition, maybe, I don't know how that could have even come because I'm aware of various universities that have moved from one place to the other. Like uh, many universities I know, some have permanent site, some have the site where they started from and so on. So uh, issue of opposition has not, that would not even come because if you want to oppose me, we want to oppose what we are doing now. We need to provide equivalent hectares of land. And of course, a lot of people will not understand the, the what um, uh, hosting of a tertiary institution means. But I, I, I want to be very, very clear that the people of Obeagu really understand what that means to them. And of course, the Transekulu still have this campus. We are not moving the campus because it, it, it took federal government more than 60 years to invest in what we are seeing in here. And there is still a window of modernization, a window of advancement. So it's that window of advancement that we are actually looking at in Obeago. So it's going to be a benefit for even those here and those in Obeago. All right, sir. That will be all. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.